Hello, hello. I'm so excited to be here. It's Friday, which means live workout. So I'm jumping on a little bit earlier now because of um, some crazy stuff going around. So I want to make sure that um, I don't have any noise affecting to the workout. Um, but today we are going to do a Pilates boxing workout, one of my favorites. And as you can see, I have some wrist weights on but you don't have to use wrist weights. You don't need to use anything. I just like this because it adds a little bit more intensity to work out. Um, I will show you the ones that I'm using. They're called Bala Bangles. They, they actually come in this cute little packaging and they're around my wrist right now. You can also use them around your ankles, but I use them a lot in my Pilates workouts just to add a little bit of intensity. So really loving these. Um, so if you want to check these out, I do have a link in the description. But today's workout's gonna be about 20 minutes. I'm gonna to try to keep it 20 minutes. I usually go a little bit after. Uh, but if you don't know me, my name is Gretchen. I am a founder of Balance to the Core and I do Pilates workouts for you guys online. Um, and if you wanna to subscribe to this channel and never miss a workout, because I am here every week with a live workout, um, hit that subscribe button as well as the bell next to it so you're notified whenever I'm here. Um, in May, I'm going to be doing a groovy thing where we're going to work our core strengths. So I'm going to be on here every day. So if you want to be part of a cool core strengthening challenge, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that challenge. All right, so let's get started. Go ahead. Um, you don't need anything. I'm actually going to be wearing sneakers. You don't need to wear sneakers. You can do this barefoot. Um, so all you really need is you. And if you have some wrist weights, you can use those. Okay, these are one pound each, so it's not too bad. All right, and I think that's everything I needed to tell you. So let's get started. Head over to your spot. <clears throat> All right, so let's just warm our spine up for a second. So take your feet, sit bone distant apart. Give me a nice deep inhale as you reach those arms up towards the ceiling. Exhale as you roll it down. Let it just sort of flop a little bit and then roll it back up. So we're going to do this a few times. If you don't want to go all the way down, you don't need to. Just sort of, you can go halfway, roll it up, and then maybe keep getting a little bit lower. Whatever feels good. We just want to get movement in that spine. I'll do one more. Roll it up and then get those legs wide and we'll go back and forth. Just sit your hips back. <clears throat> Keep pressing your knees towards your pinky toes. And your toes can be slightly turned out or parallel, whatever feels good, but we're just stretching through the hip here. Just a couple times here. Good. And we're gonna end it to the left. Just hold that stretch, sink the hips back. And then slowly go to the right, hold it for a sec, hips back. And then come to center. We'll do some undulations here. Just scoop and then go down and then we open up into extension. We scoop it up and just find a flow. Don't overthink this. Just keep your belly engaged and keep breathing. You got one more. I want you to find a neutral spine now and then take one shoulder in, look over the other. Push your hips slightly out to get a little stretch and then go the other way. And then come to center. I want you to scoop your belly, roll it up, and let's get started. So I want you to get your legs a little like in an athletic stance. Soft little bend in the knee, pelvis neutral. Arms up to guard your face. So now before I start punching, I'm going to push through my hips. So watch me here. As I push through a hip, I'm squeezing my seat. And I'm sort of giving myself a little pivot in my foot. All right, so just kind of pivot and then get your arms up. Good, and I apologize if it gets a little loud now, the machinery is coming, but I have my microphone set up, so hopefully you don't hear it. So pushing through the hip, and then what I want you to do is you're gonna add a jab forward and pull back, forward, pull back. So the power of my punch comes from pushing through my hip using my seat and abs, and I'll give you sort of a side look at that. So just keep punching forward, pulling back. Punch, pull. You want to keep your shoulders in place, your belly working, and you want to breathe. Okay? So I exhale, punch. Now I'm going to add a little cross with it. I'm going to cross from corner to corner of the room. Again, my power is coming from my legs, pushing through the seat, squeezing through the abs. It's like a little butt ab work every time I punch. Let's go four, three, two. Now I'm going to give it a little hook. I'm just going to take my elbow and almost aim it for my nose that's in front of me. I'm sliding 
my elbow along an imaginary shelf. But look at my pivot. Pivot hasn't changed at all in all of these punches. Let's go six. Four, three, two. Let's go for an uppercut now. So now I'm gonna take it, the elbow out of my hip. It comes from my hips and I try to aim for my opponent's jaw. But look, my legs haven't changed. They're still pivoting. Let's go eight. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's put that all together now. Gab it forward. Four, three, two. Now let's cross it. Four, three, two. Now let's hook it. Over. Slide it over. Good. Now uppercut. Four, three, two. Jab it. It's four and three and two. Now cross it. And hook it. Four, three, two. Now uppercut. Four, three, two. We're going to go through that again. Let's jab. Squeeze your seat and cross it. And hook it. Let's uppercut for four and three and two and one. Good job. So march it out. We're going to add some front kicks now. So just with the right leg, your arms are going to go up to guard your face and you're going to push with the right leg, just the right leg right now. So as I kick, I'm flexing my foot and imagining myself sort of shoving open a door. Push. What do you need to do that? Ab power, right? And as I kick open that door, I also want to pull that leg back with control. So it's a push-pull, push-pull. Just find that. Good. Shoulders over hips. And now we're going to add a little lunge to it. You can stay right here if you want. If you want a little intensity, we take it down. We push open that door. Down. I lost my balance. Down. Push open. Down. Push open. Good. Just focus on your opponent in front of you. Press it. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. March it out. Other side. We kick it. I hope it's not too loud. I hope you hear me. Oh, the loveliness of live video, right? <laughs> Can't edit it out. <laughs> All right, shove open that door. Push through the heel, pull it back with the hamstring. Push, pull. Push, pull. You always want to guard your face. So now I'm going to add that little lunge to it. We take it down. Shove open that door. Be careful this front knee doesn't go over the toes. You want to send the leg back. Push it through. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. Take it to the center here. All right, and let's just take it down and up. Little sumo squat. So I'm going to have a little turn out of my toes. You can also be in parallel. And I'm sticking my booty back back and then I squeeze the seat to lengthen. And as my booty goes back, I'm squeezing my upper seat. Good, down and up, down and up. Now I can add a little jab with it as I come up. Down, push, push. Now I can add a little kick with it. Down, kick like we just did. Down and kick. Use your abs here. Four and up. Three, two, one. Now we down and jab it. Kick it. Down, kick. Down, kick. Good. Down, jab. Notice my breathing, it's loud, down. It gets me into my abs. Good, 
Good, and release it. All right, now we get some side kicks. So I want you to turn your hips to the side, all right? So you're pushing your hip out. It's facing where you're going. Guard your hands across your face and look at your opponent. From here, you're shoving open your door and you're gonna push with your heel and lower it down. Push and lower. Your bottom leg is softly bent. My hips are square to you. My toes are sort of angled downward a little bit. Getting right into the seat right there. Take it slow if you need to. You do not have to be high. You do not have to be fast for these. It's all about form. And notice my hands, they come with me. They guard me so I can use my oblique muscles every time I twist into it. Good, let's go four. Breathe three, two, one. Good, all right, march it out and get the other side. My hips are gonna look the other way. I'm gonna place my guard up. Ready stance, push open that door. And you'll notice one side tighter than the other based on our hips. But really try to keep your hips square to me. Try not to arch your back, stay neutral. Powers in your abs and breath. Push open that door with your heel. Pull back with your hamstring. Seven more. Bring that guard with you. Five, doing great. Four, three, two, one. Now march it. One, two, three, we kick it. One, two, three, kick it. Keep it low here. Don't worry about high kicks, but I want pelvis square to me. Push through the heel and then work that guard to get the twist in your spine. Get those obliques. Push open that door, have some lump with it. Don't snap, be in control. All right, I'll stop with all the cues. Just do it now. We got eight more and seven and six, five, four, three, two, and one, march it wide. Get your hands back up at your guard. Ready stance, all right? So my booty's back a little bit, my abs are in. I'm gonna punch it forward. Two, three, now remember that pivot, then I'm gonna cross it. Two, three, now I'm gonna hold the crosses here. Little cross, cross, little pushes through my seat. Now you have an opponent coming at you and you have to dodge them. Dodge from side to side. They try to punch you, but you're dodging. Don't let them get you. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Dad, use your oblique muscles to do that though, those abs. All right, so we're gonna put that together. We're gonna press, 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 press. Then we dodge, 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 dodge. Try it again. One, two, three, four. Dodge, one, two, three. Let's go up to speed with it. One, two, three, four. Ha, 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 good. Now we're gonna add a little knee block to it because that's fun. So as you dodge, block them. One, two, three, block. So your shin is up high, so it blocks that person coming at you. <laughs> One, two, three, be fierce. One, two, three, up. Two more here, and then we gotta change directions. All right, now other side. I'm starting with my left, and then you zigzag. And it feels funny on the other side, kind of uncoordinated maybe. Don't worry, that's normal. One, two, three, four, zip. One, two, three, four, dodge them. It's more fun to imagine someone coming at you because then you give yourself a little bit more power. Amazing what the mind does. Let it help us, okay? We're gonna add our little knee block. Oh. One, two, three, block them. Ha! You can even make those noises, it's fun. Ha! You know what it does? It makes you breathe harder and use your abs. Ha! Deeper. All the little tricks of the trade. Four. Woo! Messed that one up. Two more. Last one. 
Good, now we go under the rope. We go down, we come up. So now we have a rope in front of us. We wanna dodge it. Oh, down, up. Now give me good squats here. Down, up, down, up, yes. We got eight, over, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I said this was at low impact. We're gonna go kind of take a rope here, but if you want it low impact, you just march it out, okay? You don't have to give the little jumps. But we got a speed bag, got to do a little exercise, okay? So get our rope, take that rope and get it wide. Oh yeah. All right, then you're gonna give me a little quick feet. You don't need to do the quick feet part. You can keep it still and we're gonna speed bag it. Ooh, now with the weights, it's pretty cool. Adds that element, but again, you don't need it. Get that punching bag going. We're gonna be here a few more seconds. Just breathe. <sighs> Tighten the abs. <sighs> Let's go four, three, two, one. March it out, nice work. All right, so we got knee blocks. One, two, three, knee block it. Knee block it, so your shin is going to me and we're gonna block our opponent, all right? Now we gotta add the arms to it because now the opponent's coming to us and we wanna smash them down on our knee, all right? So we go lift those arms up, all right? Get that opponent, grab them by the shoulders and pull them down, pull them down. <laughs> now watch your side view. So this is major seat. I'm pushing my seat forward a little, leaning back a little, but using my abs. I'm not arching my back. I'm so super strong. Oh yeah, pull them down. Oh, cross your knee. All right, now we want to push them away. All right, we want to kick them away. Ready? Kick them. Eight. Press seven. Oh yeah, six, five, four, three, two. Now guard your face, just the kicks. Up, up. Now go at your own pace, whatever works for you. Kick open that door, shove it. You got eight more, push with the heel, pull back with the hamstring. Six, five, four, three, two, one sumo squat it out, yes. Woo, did great. How'd that feel? <laughs> Isn't that fun? I love kickboxing with like a little mental note of the Pilates principles. <sighs> Makes me feel good. All right, we're gonna go down with a little side stretch. Woo, down side stretch. So let me know in the comments how you felt about this. If you felt strong and powerful, if you have any questions, give me some questions. I know sometimes when doing boxing, it's like, what's the form? But really just keeping the abs and seat engaged, watching the shoulders not creep up to the ears, it's all good. All right, and then just take here and we're gonna swing it side to side. But you can see how the wrist weights help a little bit. You can also put them on your ankles, that's cool too. Just add this little twist here, good. Bring your legs together, seal them together. Take your hands into fists, pull them right into your low back. Squeeze your seat. Just open your heart a little bit. So you pull your elbows to the back of the room. Good, come to center. Open those legs a little bit, give me an inhale. Exhale, roll it down. And roll it up. Grab a surface where you can balance. We're just gonna stretch those quads. Bring heel to seat and then pelvis neutral. And just pull the thigh down towards the floor as you lift your chest up. Try to keep your thighs together, as close together as you can. Good, and then send that heel forward, flex it and just tilt back with a straight back. Sticking your booty back, flexing your toes towards your chest evenly. Come on up, other side. Grab hold, heel the seat, lengthen the thigh downward, push your pelvis slightly forward, lift your chest. Nice deep breaths, flex that foot forward. Get a little seat here. And then come on up. Keep holding your surface. Let's just flex our foot, sit it back, get a nice little hip stretch here. We did work those hips. Come on up, other side. 
Sit the hips back evenly, flex your feet. And come on up, come to center, give me a nice deep inhale. Exhale, roll it down. So if you like these workouts and you want more of them, maybe longer and more of a schedule, I do have an online club. Relax your head and roll it up. Your first two weeks are free. Would love to have you. So link is below in the description. Give a nice deep inhale up and exhale lower. Hey, nice work today. You completed your workout. Hopefully you feel great. I would love to hear how you're doing. Please let me know in the comments. And I look forward to seeing you next week. Now, next week's going to be different. I'm going to do a whole month of workouts and we're going to build our core strength. So get ready 10 minutes a day for the whole month of May. You ready to join me? Be sure you're subscribed so you never miss a workout. I'll see you next week. Take care.